Hello and welcome everyone. This is Sunil from 3D Archestops. Once again, I welcome you in my new tutorial series. The name of the tutorial series is the Unreal Engine 5 Encyclopedia Architecture. In this tutorial series, I'm going to explain you the entire Unreal Engine, the tools, menus, navigations, shortcuts, tips and tricks, optimization processes, lights, lighting making a scene how to use a cpu cpu light mask for making a scene how to use epic lights ma epic gpu light mask for making a scene how to use lumen and nanite to make a scene for architecture visualization and unreal engine this whole tutorial will be an in-depth study of learning unreal engine in perspective of architecture so anyone who want to use the Unreal Engine for architectural purposes, I'm going to explain the entire software in depth in that terms, like how Unreal Engine can be used to do architectural projects. It will not show you how to do an interior or how to do an exterior. It will teach you the whole Unreal Engine, how it works, how it behaves, and how we can use the tools and technology present in Unreal Engine to do architectural visualization. Though Unreal Engine can be used for various other industries like making games, making AR, making VR, making cinemas, all those like ETC. But the whole tutorial will be focused on how we can take the advantage of Unreal Engine for doing architecture so, and i will explain every tools every settings everything present in unreal engine if it's used in architecture or if it can be used in architectural projects and after finishing this tutorial series you will be aware of the entire unreal engine and you will have a very solid knowledge of unreal engine its tools and the technology behind unreal engine so that you can use it for any kind of commercial projects whether it's interior whether it's exterior i will be covering how you can use post process volume how you can use lights how you can use sequencer how you can use the 3d navigation of an engine what are the best shortcuts that can help you do your work faster all the settings skylights hdi backdrop content browser world settings detail panel I will explain everything in depth based on my experience and knowledge that I have gained by doing more than 125 commercial projects in Unreal Engine in past eight years for clients across the globe, more than 30 clients across the globe. And I will use all those knowledge and techniques which I have used on all these projects to explain the interface of Unreal Engine in its entirety. And I really hope that you will get incredible amount of knowledge by following this tutorial and you will need no other tutorials after completing this tutorial to understand what Unreal Engine is and how you can use it to the best for doing the architectural projects. So about this was so this was the like this was about the tutorial what will be there inside it. Suppose like if I want to name a few then I will be covering the 3D view navigation content browser details panel world settings outliner world outliner layers levels lights how to do cinematic in Unreal engine how to package a game how to build the lights what are the best settings for the lights to use in an architectural projects whether it's in interior or whether whether it's in exterior so everything that is like the entire software will be covered in terms of architecture and how it can be used in architecture so about my uh, i'm sunil that has been working inside the unreal engine from from past eight years for doing various commercial projects for clients across the globe and if you want to just uh, like find me on web you can find me on on facebook 3d Archestops. Uh, there is a page and you can also find me on instagram that is sunil 675 or 
3D art stuffs, both personal and professional, both uh, idea I have on Instagram. And you can all uh, you can contact me whenever you want while you are following the tutorial on Skype or WhatsApp. WhatsApp number is given on my website that is here. This one is my WhatsApp number. You can get in contact with me and you can also get in contact with me on email and you can also go get in contact with me on Skype that is Sunil0067. So you can there are various processes or ways where you can contact me if you have any doubt your problem you want to discuss something it's you will always be welcomed to discuss or to get your question answered or any clarification you want or you want to discuss something now i'm going to show you my pc configuration so if you go here like if i go here and if i bring this one here so i go in performance this is my cpu that is amd ryzen thread ripper 399 0 x 64 cores and 128 threads i have 128 gb of ram installed at the moment but i have 256 gb ram for my in my pc that is i have removed it temporarily i have removed it temporarily that later on i will i will be adding i have several hard drives and then i have 100 mps internet connection and and my graphic card is rtx 3090 so let's let me keep this aside and the first thing we should start with learning Unreal Engine is we have to download the Epic Launcher that inside this Epic Launcher we can install download Epic Launcher. Epic Launcher is a client by like client a, an application provided by Epic Games and inside that Epic Launcher we can get various versions and different versions of Unreal Engine and we will be using Unreal Engine 5 for the entire tutorial series because that is the latest and the most phenomenal version of Unreal Engine because of Lumen and Nanite and I will be covering how we can use Lumen and Nanite in Unreal Engine Epic own GPU light machine engine and CPU light machine and present in Unreal Engine. I will show you, like I will explain to use all those different techniques. So let's uh, go first here on Google and then type download Unreal Launcher and then you will get this download Unreal Engine or download the Epic Games Launcher. You can use any of these links. So if I click here download Unreal Engine, you will get this page. And here now you have to crawl down and then you can download any one of these no worries but let's download i have downloaded this one creators license free to use no reality uh, no royalties royalties so now we have to click on download now and you just have to uh, if like if you get a documentation where you have to read and then accept it then you have to read it and accept it before and then once you accept it and then click then this launcher option will be available so you have to start download and then you have to open it so once you click open then this option will come and because this option is there because i have already installed the epic launcher if you don't have it installed then you will straight away it will help you uh, or guide you how to install and you have to just click next 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 and finish but if you already have it it will ask you to repair or remove so i don't want to repair or remove because i have already installed but it's very simple from here you just have to click next 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 and then it will be installed so after that we just close it and now we have to open Unreal Engine 5 or uh, like uh, after this when Epic Launcher will be installed you have to go to Epic Launcher and then you have to go to library and then from here you have to click engine version you have to click here and then you can choose which version of Unreal Engine you want to install as you can see I have already Unreal Engine 5 installed from here like click this and then go here and then find the exact version that is Unreal Engine 5 that is already here it will be shown if it was not installed already so select that and then click install and choose a location where you want to install it and then install that version after you install the version or after you install unreal engine you will see it here you can install different versions of unreal engine in this epic launcher if you have a space and i'm going to cover Unreal engine 5 for the entire tutorial series so i'm going to start Unreal engine 5 so you just have to click launch so once you click launch you will be getting this interface and in this interface you will have you see you will see recent projects games 
फिल्म वीडियो एंड लाइव इवेंट्स आर्किटेक्चर इंजीनियरिंग कंस्ट्रक्शन आर्किटेक्चर इंजीनियरिंग एंड कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑटोमेटिव प्रोडक्ट डिजाइन एंड मैन्युफैक्चरिंग सिंस वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अनल इंजन इन परस्पेक्टिव ऑफ आर्किटेक्चर यू हैव टू गो हियर एंड क्लिक ऑन आर्किटेक्चर एंड इंजीनियरिंग एंड देन यू हैव टू सेलेक्ट दिस ब्लैंक टेम्पलेट दिस टेम्पलेट आर नॉट टू गुड बिकॉज वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द इंटायर अनल इंजन फ्रॉम स्क्रैच एनी वे सो दिस ब्लैंक विल हेल्प us and we have to just switch off this starter content and we don't have to select on this ray tracing and we just name name find a proper place where you want to uh, save your project from here like project location you have to select any project location generally it's in document and unreal projects so if you want you can select that also and then you have to name the project like tutorial whatever name you want to give to your pro project you can give it try to avoid giving name of your project as test because if you will be giving the name of the project as test you might face problem while baking light for the project and making exe so it's always advisable that you don't name your project as test because in the coding somewhere there it takes it doesn't support any project that has named as test so you can just name it anything other than test and then you have to go here and click create after you click create arranger will take arranger file will take few minutes or seconds and then it will start for you so this is the first layout which we get when unreal engine is installed if you don't get this sometimes if you don't get this you will get like you have to uh, go in windows and lo load layout and you have to click default editor layout and if you have really installed unreal engine 5 for the first time you will get this interface for sure if you if you see this message just click dismiss and if you are installing unreal engine 5 for the first time uh, for sure you are going to get this layout but this layout is not very good to work for because lots of tools are hidden and to bring those hidden toolbars which are very important to work efficiently and faster my preference and or i will suggest is you have to go here in window and go to load layout and you have to click uv4 classic layout so this is the classic layout uh, that i prefer to work in and then you have to just bring this line in the vertical alignment of this one and after that you have to bring this one a little bit right by clicking on this and then dragging and then you can also click on this and then drag downwards a little bit generally try to keep your this view port in 16 ratio 9 or 10 so that because while you are working in the interface and your entire interface is already like 3d view port is already in 16 ratio 9 you will get an accordance of your project and all those like views almost similar to the final result because most of time or most likely we are going to render the cinematic videos or the monitor has to be will be the monitor will be using the exe to walk inside in real time will be 16 ratio 9 most of the time like 90% of the time users have monitor that is that has ratio of 16 ratio 9 so generally my preference is when i work in unreal engine i keep my 3d view port in something similar to 16 ratio 9 this one this view port is already 16 ratio 9 and i try to keep as much toolbars as possible in my view port itself so that i can get reach of it very easily but if you don't want to use this preferable you don't prefer this you can hide them it's very easy just go in window load and then just click to default editor layout but i will suggest use you for classic because this gives you all this necessary tools toolbars right away so now let's proceed further and try to understand this so the most important place from where we have to start on the lension as a beginners point if you already know unreal engine it it depends on you you can start from anywhere but if you are new to unreal engine absolute new beginner then you should first understand the view 
and how you can move, rotate, scale things, uh, navigate, every sorts of things you have to understand. And first you should know about the 3D viewport in its entirety. This is called 3D viewport. I'm going to give you just an overall view of the entire interface and then I will start from the 3D viewport and explain it in depth.